Okay, so let's get to some typical examples where we use compound and double angle identities. And uh, this is a, a, an interesting example. We have that cos of x is equal to 0, 0,4 and we need to determine cos of 2x. Now, it might have been that sine of 0.4, it could have been anything. And all we need to do is use this to draw a little triangle. Okay, so if I know that cos of x, then I draw my little triangle, okay, is 4, 0, 0,4. Now, I'm going to rather say it's 4 over 10 because I know that cos of cos of an angle is opposite, uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is just one triangle that will have cos at 0 0.4. That is if my hypotenuse is 10 and my uh, adjacent is equal to 4. And I can find this by simply taking the square root of 10 squared which is 100 minus 4 squared which is 16 which is just the square root of 84. Square root of 84 is equal to what? Well, this can be equal to square root of 4 times 21. And square root of 4 is 2 square root 21. Okay, there we go. That's a, uh, that's a different expression that we can have. And now if I had to do cos of 2x, I know that I only know what cos of x is, so I would like to rewrite this in terms of cos of x. And it's not that difficult. We know that one other expression is 1 minus no, si uh, 2 sine squared x. I want the cos squared. It can be 2 cos squared x minus 1. And we know what 2 cos squared, we know what cos x is. We just square it. 0.4 squared is 2 times 0, 0.16 minus 1. And that gives me 2 times 0 0.16 would give me, what is it, uh, 0 0.32 minus 1 would be negative 0, 0.68. That's my first answer. How about cos of 4x? Now, at this point, people just give up, go to the next problem, but the next problem is a more difficult problem, so they give up on that one as well, and eventually they've gone through the whole paper and only answered the first question that they came across with double angles. Okay, so let's not do that. Okay, let's just do what we've been doing in the proof of these things, and let's just say this is cos of 2x plus 2x. Okay, it's just double double angle. So, I if we first convert it into into that, all I do now is instead of just having an x, I have a two x there. So I have two cos squared of two x minus one. And I did cos of two x in the previous step, so I can immediately jump and say, well, this is just uh, uh, negative zero comma six eight squared minus 1 because I have cos squared x okay but um, let's not make it easy for ourselves let's actually go and rewrite this as well because it's a double angle so that's 2 cos of 2x can be replaced by uh, 2 cos squared x minus 1 but this was cos squared of 2x so if I replace the cos 2x with co 2 cos squared x minus 1 I must just square it in the end minus 1 and this one I can also go and just now replace 2 times 2 of 0 comma 4 squared minus 1 squared minus 1 and that will give me the same answer here either way so let's see what is that answer we have uh, point 0.4 squared times 2 I'm just doing this inside first okay uh, minus 1 okay is negative that's what I had there but that must be squared as well okay times 2 okay is that minus 1 and I get negative 0 0.752 negative 0, 0, 0.075 Five, two. Is that it? That's it. 